I'm willing to bet you have at least one guilty pleasure baby name, whether you want to admit it or not. And it's probably pretty uncommon or weird and something you just would never actually use. But for me, things are a little bit different because my entire brand is uncommon, rare, unique, whimsical baby names that aren't always treated as baby names. So for me, a lot of my guilty pleasure baby names are actually classic, traditional names. You'll see what I mean. <laughs> So not only am I going to show you like my weird pronunciation based guilty pleasure names and my classic ones, but I'm also going to share a bunch of guilty pleasure names from my community. I put a poll, like a question on IG and oh my gosh, you guys, I got some juicy ones because people shared why they can't use the name, why it's a guilty pleasure and you're going to love them. And then I have an entire list that you can just treat as baby name inspiration because it's so interesting. While one person's guilty pleasure name is another person's like classic, beautiful name. And as a Disclaimer, remember that if this is your name or your child's name, we still love it. I love every name personally. Just because it's a guilty pleasure name for me doesn't mean it should be for you. Take everything with a grain of salt. So what is a guilty pleasure? A guilty pleasure is like an activity, a book or a movie that you really enjoy, but you're embarrassed to tell people about because it's not really held in high regard in society. So think of your favorite like terrible movie that's poorly produced or poorly acted and it's a movie that you love, but no one else does. That's your guilty pleasure movie. For me, we're going to start with the name Gemma. I can't, I love the name so much, but I would never use it. So if you've been following me for a long time, you know my least favorite letter in the alphabet is J. And Gemma starts with a J, J sound, and I just wouldn't use it. Even though my boys, their names start with E and F, and I was looking for a G name for my third kid, and Gemma starts with a G. I just couldn't do it because it didn't feel right. Like to me, the G sound has to be a J. I don't know why whatever that's just my thing but i will always love the name gemma next up we have the name senna <laughs> i don't know it's another double letter that ends in an a um i also like senna but um senna is the like a constipation medication i believe so it's a guilty pleasure name would never use it the next one is a pronunciation issue for me because this name has two very prominent pronunciations the name is sila or sela it's a hebrew name i suggest it to many people who are looking for something that's in a sweet spot because this name is growing in popularity, meaning people are seeing it and they know of it, but it is like in the mid range of the top 1000. It is not too, too popular. Actually, it might be in the 200s. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> anyway, I think Sela is a beautiful name, but it would drive me bananas because I wouldn't be able to commit to Sela or Sela and it would be like so much work helping other people pronounce it that I just couldn't do it. For boys, when it comes to pronunciation issues, my issue is with the name Alistair. So it's spelled like Alistair. It's supposed to be Alistair. And then you can also spell it with a D, Alistair but it's supposed to be still Alistair. Like it's not pronounced the way it looks and it kind of drives me batty. Like it just makes me feel frustrated when I look at it, but I think it is such a beautiful name. And we considered it because my husband is Scottish. That's a Scottish name. Anyway, the other name I have an issue with that I couldn't use, but I love, so it's guilty pleasure, is Roman. Roman just belongs with a Latino family or a Hispanic family. I just think it is so stunning, but there's a dissonance for me. It just didn't feel like a name for my family. So I suggest it, especially if you're looking for something that sounds good in English and Spanish. But for me personally, I would not use that name. Moving on to a favorite theme of mine that I wish I would have done. I kind of did. So masculine names for girls, I'm obsessed with. But here's the thing. My daughter has a very gender neutral nickname, Ori. It's very gender neutral, but her name is Oriana. It's very feminine sounding and I'm just a girly girl. I just love feminine things. And I ended up having to choose a feminine, not having to, wanting to choose a feminine name for my daughter. So in in that sense, I would never have used any of these, but I love these names so, so, so much. Okay, so here's the list. Blake, Fallon, Greer, Hesper, and Sloan. Oh, you cannot tell me those are not amazing names. And I love them so, so much. Clearly I need more things to name because there are so many amazing names out there. Let's move on to the classic names that I love, but I would never use. This is because I just couldn't do it. Even before I was a name consultant, none of these names would have even been on my short or long list. Like I think they're stunning, but they've always been too popular for me. Even before I was a name consultant, guys, I would never have chosen these, but maybe in another life, in another world, I, I'm, I'm obsessed with all of them, okay? Like, 
truly love these names. So for girls, Charlotte, Margaret, Nicole, Penelope, and Scarlett. Think about it. Like they all are longer with great nicknames, just like Oriana, right? Charlotte could go by Lottie, Penelope, Penny, or Poppy, Margaret. Greta is my favorite nickname for that. There's just so, so, so many good ones there, but alas, it was not meant to be. And then we're going to move on to the boy names. These are shorter because I do love a good short boy name. We have Callum and Ethan and Evan. Evan is only one letter off of my son's name, Ewan. I love Henry with a nickname of Hank. There's nothing wrong with that. That's perfection. Henry, nickname Hank. It's so cute. And then Jonathan. Now, I know I don't like a J name, and I've also talked about and been written about in articles about how I have a dislike for the names John and Mary. It's not that I really dislike them, it's that they're overused and I don't see the appeal anymore. Like, why are we continuing to use them? <laughs> so they're classics, I get it, they're beautiful. I love all names, but I love the name Jonathan. I just would not want it to be shortened to John. You know, people are so weird, like why? But I do attribute this love to Jonathan Taylor Thomas or JTT. If you were a teen in the 90s and 2000s, maybe you can relate to me. <laughs> I don't know. But um, he is definitely somebody I had a crush on and so I've always loved the name Jonathan since then. Now you guys can all figure out that I'm 40 and if you didn't know that by now because I talk about it constantly, you're behind the times. And then finally, two other ones that I just, you know, kind of love. Actually, I love one for a girl too, Logan. Logan could have been on the masculine names for girls, but I love that for a boy too, Logan. Oh, so and Silas, what a sweet, sweet boy name. Like I'm falling more in love with the name Silas. Now for your viewing pleasure, we're going to look at other people's guilty pleasure names. So take inspiration where you will or commiseration if you will as well. Okay, number one, <laughs> Astrid would give them two Vikings names, which I don't think is a bad thing. As a baby namer, I'd love that kind of theme. And then Octavia would be two names from one show. Fair. This is good. Charles, because their last name is Brown, and then he'd be Charlie Brown. I have to agree with that one. Um, Siomi, because I don't want to tell everyone how it's pronounced. And they did pronounce it for me, Siomi. It's really cute, C-I-O-M-Y, but I can totally understand why they don't want to. Eleanor sounds too fancy. Kevin, because it's dad's middle name, brother's first name, and can't inflate my brother's ego. Also fair. <laughs> Leroy, because last name is Brown. Again, love this. And this person also put Hazel because Hazel Brown, those are two color names. Totally understand that. If you have a color last name, you can't do a color first name. Bad, bad. Leroy Brown, right? Um, and then we have Ophelia. A couple people put Ophelia, which is one of my top, top girl names um, because they can't get over how tragic that character is. To me, that like makes it all the more beautiful and the juxtaposition of like a new baby and the tragedy, but it's like, it's all mythical and it's, you know, it's fiction and it's Shakespeare and it, it just feels very elegant and dreamy to me. And I don't look at it as like super sad and tragic. I look at it like as beautiful art. Fiction. Does that make any sense? Am I making any sense at all? Owen and Holly, they're too normal. <laughs> um, palace, they think it's gorgeous, but they could never use it. Yeah, I get it. Peter, because their last name is small and it's slang for a guy's member in the UK. I did not know that off the bat. I thought it was like, oh, Paul, it means small. They don't want to be small, small. But Peter does not mean small, so I was like so confused. And then sure enough, you look it up in the UK, it is slang for something inappropriate. And then it would be inappropriate thing plus small. I get that. I get that. That's fair. And then Remus is too widely associated with Harry Potter and they are not into the fandom. So those are just some of the examples I got and they were so great. Thank you to everyone who submitted. If you're not following my Instagram, I do a lot of polls there, but I also do polls on my Patreon, which I just started recently and it's going really well. I'm so excited. Thank you to everyone who signed up. You can also sign up as a free member to take part in the polls, but if you want vintage name list, gender neutral list, if you want personalized baby name help, I have different tiers and I have value at every single tier. So check out my links if you are interested in that. All right, this is the rapid fire section of guilty pleasure baby names that you guys submitted or my Instagram submitted. Okay, ready? Ampersand with the nickname of Amy. Love it. Birdie, Blanche, Bronwyn, Calliope was in there twice. Claudia, Clementine, Crosby, Dawson, and Dempsey. I just suggested that name, love those. Emily, Francesca, Friday, so cute, Grayson, Honey, Ireland Rose, Jenny, hmm. Jericho was in there twice, Mallory, and I think this is probably because it means unfortunate or unlucky, Matilda, 
Natalie, Nora, Otis, Otter. <laughs> I love it. I love it. You guys, you're so fun. Prairie. Oh, that's a guilty pleasure name for me too. Can we put that on for me? Rainbow. Very cute. Renesme. Is that, is that like from Twilight? I think. Reverie. Stunning. Rhoda. Sabine. <laughs> Serafina was also on there twice. Guys, Serafina is being talked about. Serafina is going up. This is, take this as your sign. If you were considering Serafina, take it, use it, love it, live it. Okay. That was kind of forceful. Solstice, Suede, Sunshine, Tigress, Veronica, and Veruca. Funny story. Veruca is the last name on the list, but funny story is that, um, I actually suggested the name Veruca. Veruca Salt, Willy Wonka, right? But it means wart. And then everyone was like, that's a terrible name with a terrible meaning. I was like, Veruca is such a badass, cool name. I, I think it's a great name, um, but I can see why you wouldn't use it. And I probably wouldn't as well. And it's such a shame that it means wart. Anyway, that's all the guilty pleasure names we can fit into one video, friends. Follow along on my socials for more baby name inspiration. I love talking about baby names and also I'm self-publishing my second book right now. So check out those videos if you're interested in that. And I will see you in the next one. Happy naming!